Wonderland Amusement Park is speaking out about the safety of its rides after a person is injured on one over the weekend. News Channel 10's Corey Duke is live near the scene. She joins us with a witness report of what happened. That's the drop of fear you can see behind me, a large tower that sends riders to the very top and then releases them in a free fall. On Saturday, as riders were seeking to get a thrill from the attraction, they got something else instead. Let's get away from here. We don't know how much those are the words spoken just moments after a ride at Wonderland Amusement Park forced riders to take cover. Justine and Archer Mora were awaiting their turn on the drop of fear. As they stepped up to the gate, watching those go ahead of them, the unthinkable happened. Four girls got on and they only went a few feet before the thing that brings them up disconnected and they fell back down and it went up and a few seconds later, the big metal chunk fell down. I just saw it explode like on the little piece of metal behind the girls. These children's accounts were sent in to us from Justine and Archer's concerned mother. She tells us both her children were sprayed in the face with what she thought was metal shrapnel. We reached out to Wonderland Park to see what it was doing about the incident. They released this statement. Wonderland Amusement Park takes great strides to ensure the safety of our visitors at all times. Today we have a ride inspector on site evaluating the drop of fear, which was involved in an incident over the weekend. The drop of fear remains closed as the inspector conducts an investigation. One person out of the four riders was injured from the falling metal. However, Wonderland assures us she was treated for a bruised knee at the hospital and later released. Although everyone appears okay, witnesses say they're a little rattled. Uh, a little bit shocked and worried about the girls because they're hit pretty, they were hit pretty bad and uh, stunned. I can assure you that I did see workers out here today working on not only the drop of fear, but doing maintenance throughout the entire park as well. Reporting live from Wonderland, Corey Duke, News Channel 10.